video, we are doing something a little special and a little random. So throughout my years of being keto, I have amassed like a random assortment of sweeteners and just recently I decided to do something with them. Like I normally don't make and bake a lot of keto treats anymore. I mean if anything I enjoy a pre-made treat, a quest bar of sorts, but yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> wow, okay, yes. So I have had all of these different types of sweeteners in my pantry for a long time and like I'm not letting them expire because that's money out the window. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So what I wanted to do was just kind of do a comparison of making the exact same recipe with all these different sweeteners. Another thing I wanted to do is to compare them because like what's the difference? Like what's the difference between Lakanto's monk fruit and erythritol versus so nourished monk fruit and erythritol? Like is there a difference? Is one better than Not another? Inquiring minds one another. Exactly. So I thought that I would do an experiment of baking all of these cookies and doing a taste test with my family because there's a lot of cookies here, so... I'm loving this challenge. <laughs> it's not a challenge. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's so I accept this challenge. Five minutes on the clock, 12 cookies, let's go. Okay, so what I did earlier, I spent a lot of time making lots of batches of cookies. I used Erin's recipe from Fat for Weight Loss. I'm going to put the link to that recipe down in the description. It was quite easy. A lot of the chocolate chip recipes that I saw called for xanthan gum, and I honestly didn't know that like that was normal. Like I know about xanthan gum, but I just didn't know we was expected to have it on hand. So we, to. I know, right? So we actually <laughs> took a couple of special trips to get some xanthan gum, but I was able to make these cookies, and they turned out great. So let's meet our contenders. So first, we have so nourished. This is a monk fruit and erythritol blend. I got this off of Amazon. I've never had it before, so I'm excited to try it. Next, we have Lakanto. Okay, so I do know all about Lakanto. They sell this at Costco in the store. Like, I like how you can get it in the store. I had this at KetoCon last year. It was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. So I was glad to have this. Uh, and then finally, we have Pure. Pure is known for their pre-made mixes around this household. You know, like their pre-made so yeah, their pre-made chocolate chip cookie and brownie mix are, you know, what dreams are made of. But they also make regular, just like, you know, plain sweetener. So this is a stevia and erythritol blend, and these are monk fruit and erythritol blend. So I want to see if there is going to be a difference in flavor. Okay, now another fun aspect of this challenge is that it's blind. Like, it's a blind taste test. Here, everyone, hold that. No, get, no pick, the, pick that up. Pick. Look, I don't know if you guys can tell. They look the triplets. We they have a thing. I mean, they look the exactly the same. So, no, oh, it's not, not yet. Okay, so the baking process <laughs> was very similar. So, these recipes yielded the exact same amount and the exact same texture and consistency of like dough. Wow. Like you couldn't look, I had to have the the bowls marked wow. so that I would know which one wow. was which because the dough looked exactly the That's same. Amazing. Even furthermore, I actually baked 12 at a time and I did four of each in in the same on the same sheet what? because I didn't want to like put one on the top row and one on the say, middle. Did you all bake them the same? Yes, oh, we yes. baked them. Okay. So we baked, we even baked them the same on the same cookie sheet, and yes. I also had to mark the the parchment paper so that I would know which was which. It was a very professional, very huh. professional. Thank you. It went about, well about time to take the equal or same the exact amount. same amount of time. Like I mean, these are just so. Identical, it's alarming. And they look so amazing. we're really they don't they though? They yeah. look wonderful. <laughs> so we're really not gonna know. I'm loving this challenge. <laughs> <laughs> we're really not gonna know. We're gonna call Richard number one because right. he's he's number one in my heart. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I have number two, and then mom has uh, cookie number three. Number three. So what we're gonna okay. do is we're gonna try them. Oh yes, everyone, grab your milk. Oh. Okay, so we have our unsweetened vanilla almond, almond milk milks. here because, I mean, milk and cookies, it uh, goes yeah, together. Yeah, it goes together. So we're all going to try cookie number one, mm -hmm. then we're all going to try cookie number two, and then we're all going to try cookie number three, and then we are going to vote on our favorites, and then it's just like Oprah, you guys. Oh, the no. name are hard. The name are hard. Everyone, look under your plate because... <laughs> The, the name of the sweetener that was used is under oh it's underneath the plate, okay? Oh so that's exciting. So without further ado, Richard, will you serve, serve us the cookie? 
cookies. This is almost feels like the offering plate yeah. and the, like at church. <laughs> you get the biggest cracker on there. Yes, exactly. Or something we'll or communion. Or okay, so everyone, what do we think yeah. about these cookies? Uh, these were baked at 375 for 11 minutes. And I mean, I just think yeah, that's that perfect. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That's everyone, that's perfect. Cookie. With our cookies combined. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this looks perfect. Okay, one, two, three. Soft in the middle, crispy on the outside. outside. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I really like how it's crispy on the outside, but mm -hmm. soft and chewy in the middle. That is what the xanthan gum does. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, you wouldn't tell me these are sugar free. I wouldn't get. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. I can eat a bag of these. Mm -hmm. The the sweetener. I was gonna say we don't know which one, but the sweetener is what mm -hmm. causes it to be crusty on the outside, okay. uh, and then the xanthan gum is what causes it to be chewy on the inside. Okay. I agree. Very good flavor. Very chewy. Mm -hmm. the flavor? I really like the array of textures in this. It's like the traditional cookie texture. Mm -hmm. like, I do know. get, I would say, a slight cooling effect. It's not really a cooling effect. I don't, not really. I taste the coolness it. as I'm eating it. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily leave an aftertaste. I that but was as I'm, me. <laughs> no. It wasn't me. Oh my gosh. No. So of course, erythritol is known to have a, a cooling effect or to make your mouth feel cool uh, mm -hmm. as you're eating it, but. Mm. I like. I don't think this is really good. Yeah, it is. I got a little bonus. And <laughs> you like the cooling effect because you're not used to it. <laughs> if, if everything you ate had a cooling effect, you'd be like, like okay, I'm over it. I'm over it. Oh, dang, am I still on? Oh, maybe because I'm talking. I was like, mm. no, mine was good. Oh, bro, this is really good. It is very good. I like, I'm loving that cooling effect. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Time to. So that was cookie no. number one. And then also, kudos to um, Fat for Weight Loss's recipe. I mean, this was the recipe, so very good. Oh, yeah, it's milk time. Yeah. Now, that is not deliciousness. I don't know. Woo! Okay, I need more. That's good. I can't sip. I'm more of a chugger. Top, top, yeah. That's so good. Whoa. Yeah. 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 Yeah
thing? Is that a thing? Mm -hmm. Of course it is. Mm, these seem more rustic around the edges. Yeah, now I will say that Aaron from Fat for Weight Loss said that if you use 100% erythritol, these should have spread out, similar to those pure cookies. However, I knew that all of these were blends, so I went ahead and pre-pressed them with a spoon, so they did not spread at all, which I honestly like because I like knowing exactly the size that a cookie is going to come out, you know? So I did press these with a spoon, so the edges are rustic. I like the, the hills and valleys, the pink well, yeah, and valleys. Because that's a spoon. I, put a, I pressed it out with a spoon. Yes, I'm going to show it to the camera, but I have to see what... 
nourished. So this yeah. is number one, and that's so that means that number three yeah. was Lakanto. Wow. Oh, Here, Mama, hold that. Wow, I am shocked right now. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm in pure shock. <laughs> but I'm in pure one. shock. Number one. I am in pure shock. I am what? pure, pure shock. What are you doing? <laughs> Okay, I look handsome. Okay. 